Despite what I do for work, I'm not usually one for adhering to dress codes, but for certain occasions, the Investec Derby, for instance, adhering to a rigid dress code is very important. If you're fortunate enough to be in the Royal Box, it's imperative that you wear a morning suit and top hat. I prefer a black morning coat with pleated charcoal trousers and some lovely black derbies or Oxfords. To give it a bit of personality, I'd recommend wearing a double-breasted waistcoat in a lovely shade of teal or sunshine yellow and go for a shade darker in your tie. Finally, top things off with a top hat, I think in black because it's just that little bit chicer. If you're not seated in the box, I think a two or three piece suit works really well. A light shade of blue will look really summery and smart. Just team with a classic white shirt and a tie in a slightly darker shade than the suit you're wearing. Taller frames can opt for a double breasted suit or a three piece, but if you're slightly shorter or on the slightly wider side, I would suggest going single breasted. If you plan on going slightly more casual, I would recommend going for separates, a jacket and trouser combination in a similar shade, but in different fabrics. So a textured jacket, for instance, with some classic cotton navy chinos. Shirt-wise, opt for a grandad collar shirt, slightly open at the neck. It looks far chicer. Alternatively, a full placket polo shirt. Just make sure you wear it in a tonal shade, quite similar to your suit. Taking your suit to a tailor before the big event is essential. A few nips and tucks will make all the difference on the day. Finally, give your outfit a lift with some key chosen accessories. A pair of Neapolitan loafers worn sockless, a good pair of sunglasses. This will just make it look like you've really thought about what you're doing.